Welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and Halloween has definitely come early, as I want to say a special thank you to my friends over at NECA Toys. We have the official first look at the brand new Ben Cooper Halloween Monster Mask Kids. How cool are these? The entirety of Wave 1, from the creature to the devil, Frankenstein, mummy, and skeleton. This will be the official first look out of the box. Yes, I will be opening them but I don't want to because they're so perfect inside that box. But they really did an excellent job with the packaging. So simplistic yet so nostalgic at the same time. It's just a very cool box of awesome. You get to see the figure, of course, right in the middle while all that classic monster artwork is all over the box. You've got those light blues, the really cool caricatures, very cartoony, but very effective. And then, of course, right there, front and center, Ben Cooper, as we all know and love. And that is very, very cool just to have that callback in now in the form of action figures. On the top right here, you see it says creature size five and a half. That's hearkening back to the sizes of the costumes. Each one will be labeled as such. So there's no confusing the characters. Obviously, you can see inside the box. But again, the artwork on the sides all over the place is just awesome. That really makes me want to save the dang box. Of course, each one is numbered one through five corresponding numbers. You get the idea. Very cool. Nice way to tell them apart. Now, on the back side, again, very simplistic, but again, hearkening back to the old Ben Cooper mask boxes. You get to see all the different characters one through five, each presented nicely. And then on the bottom, to point out, yes, these are going to be exclusive to the NECA store, which unfortunately have sold out as of this video. Some specialty stores, some online specialty toy stores, and then possibly your local comic shop if they ordered them. As of right now, they're largely sold out. But I would say to NECA Toys, based on the overwhelming response to my initial postings of these Ben Cooper Halloween kids, make them more. <laughs> People want them, so definitely make them more. And again, I hope that this video helps you guys in that decision if you want to go ahead and track them down. But again, to point out on the bottom of the box, NECA Toys has always done a great job at pointing out everyone's involvement with the creation of these figures. So I always say thank you very much for that. But I want to say at a, a special, you've done a good job there. That's really cool to the tailoring. So we have Nicole Falk and then we have packaging design by Chris Ramo. All of this has come together to congeal and form an awesome action figure line, if I do say so myself. So from the creature to then the devil, which... That's a cool looking one, I will say. More devil figures, right? Now, I know, I heard the feedback on some postings recently. You gotta have fun with it. It's Halloween time, depending on when you see this video. Then you have the Frankenstein, and as I pointed out, yes, all of the boxes are gonna be largely the same. They'll just correspond with the specific character and then the numbers. But I will say, I really like the mummy, as you'll soon see. I think that he's just extra creepy looking, especially when you look at him with their cold, dead eyes in the box. Cross the board, all these ghoulish children are something else. But we'll just say the skeleton man, he's another standout. They're all just really interesting. And they really just did a great job at hitting that nostalgic Halloween sweet spot. So if you have a Halloween decoration to choose from in action figure form, perhaps it'll be these new Ben Cooper Halloween kids. So as always, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe a Twix bar or a Butterfinger. This is a look at the brand new NECA toys, the Ben Cooper Halloween kids, trick or treat. And just to take a break from these ghoulish shenanigans for one second, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys. We got new toys. We have daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like a bunch of trick-or-treaters up to no good with their creepy masks. <laughs> 
Very cool. So here's everything out of the box. Each figure is a masked child, and then they get a corresponding candy bag and or pumpkin, which I like the dynamics of that. It's again, very much hearkening back to these very specific days in Americana. This is a specific moment in time, out of place now, that really has a lot of nostalgic value to a lot of people, and I think NECA Toys, again, has nailed it. With the creature, you do get your trick-or-treat bag, which is a plastic, sort of paperish kind of laminated bag, which, again, it's paperish, so go easy. It will crease and whatnot. I wish they had put the designs on both sides. I know that kind of harkens back to the original bags, but both sides would have been cool. And if you so desire, you can put all sorts of treats and goodies inside this bag if you want. But I like the design on that. The actual child itself. Now, the masks are not removable. This one is a girl. You can see the pigtails. They've really done a good job at breaking up all the kids, giving each one a representation, which is nice. The masks, everything is painted beautifully on this. That is something to point out. From the masks to the smock type costume, it's all printed nicely. It's more of a vinyl. It's not a paper in any way, shape, or form. It should hold up. It should last for quite a few many years. But always go easy with this type of material when you want to move it around. There's not much on the back. They do have a Velcro sort of deal. So you could, but don't, remove the costume. I don't know why you would. You have these articulation points, which when you have a flesh tone, I always think it looks overly mechanical. You do get a lot of articulation out of these figures, but again, you're gonna see a lot of pins, a lot of joints. That would be, for me, the only downside to this. If they were pinless, they'd be a little bit more flush. You get the idea, but when you have flesh, with all those different movement joints and all that. Yeah, that's what kind of uh, off puts it a little bit. But again, the articulation works with each of the figures and across the board, it will be the same exact articulation for every single figure. There is a bit of a upper diaphragm to this figure. You can move it around at your leisure if you want. Just don't get the material caught in the joints. We'll just say that. Nothing much in terms of a waist. There's no waist, so you kind of use that upper diaphragm. You can get the figures to kick out, kick off to the side. Again, go very easy with the material until you kind of learn it, figure it out. The knees will be a single joint. Just, again, go very easy with the material. You don't want to overextend anything until you kind of get the grasp of things. And yes, you can move it around again at your leisure and really have it to where you could pose these out fairly well. Now you do get a ball joint, they'll go up, down, side to side, and you get peg holes on the bottom. So again, for me, for this type of figure, what we're dealing with here in a display wise for Halloween, it works good. The head articulation is pretty solid, left, right, up, down. You can't get all the way back by any means, but you can definitely look down. So again, the articulation is pretty well done for this type of character. Now, in terms of the devil, he comes with a all black trick or treat bag, has the pumpkin on the front. It opens a little bit better than the creature girls, I will say that, but it's the same type of material. Go really easy with it. You don't want to bend it, rip it. You get the idea. Now with the devil in juxtaposition to the creature where you had a girl, now you have a blonde haired boy wearing the devil mask. And again, it's all painted really nicely. I like the way that that looks. I love the design on the front. The smock sort of costume is really brought to life. There's nothing much on the back, which again is very much Ben Cooper, he's got white sneakers this time around. And again, as to point out, across the board, he will have the same exact articulation as all the other figures do. Now, just to change things up, instead of a plastic candy bag, now we have a plastic pumpkin. And that is a classic design. I absolutely love that. It completes with the handle, which will rotate if you'd like. And much like these old school pumpkin buckets, yes, the handle will come off if you'd like. Can't tell you how many times I used to do that back in the day when I was a kid and had these sort of styles. It does stay on there fairly well, so you don't have to worry about it, but don't want to go losing it, and there's plenty of space for candy, if you'd like, with the Frankenstein. Again, 
Very much a different look now as opposed to the devil and the creature. I like the colors. The yellows really stand out. The Frankenstein on the smock is awesome. This time around, the kid has tan and maroon shoes, which are very cool. You can see the laces. You have a very nice blue for the rest of the costume. But again, he just stands out so well. And this is the type of yellow where it really reminds me of something that could be blacklight-ish. So later in the video, I'll pull out my blacklight and see if these come to life any more than they already have. But again, yes, go really easy with the material. It's pretty solid. Now, with the Mummy Kid, you get a trick-or-treat bag. It's all white with a really old-school design of the devil, and you got the witch and the black cat and the pumpkins. This is right up my alley. This is very cool. Nothing on the back side of the bag. Again, put some goodies inside there as they're trick-or-treating. The mummy itself. This one is really interesting. So they've gone with an African-American kid this time around. You have the mummy on the smock. You have a very creepy looking face to this as well. It just looks a lot more dead-eyed than the other characters. This one really stands out as being a little bit more like terrifying, and I really like that. There's just something about the face, right? So on the backside, it's all black. You've got some red tennis shoes. But yes, this one for me really does stand out as well because of the overall creepiness factor of the masks. I really like the smock, the artwork on that really does stand out as well. And you got the bag and this is a pretty cool mummy. And then to round out these Ben Cooper kids, we have the skeleton kid and you get a much more traditional pumpkin bucket, which is nice to see. You have a handle as well, but this one is sculpted in. This one does not come off. And I like that. I like that each one is different. They did a great job in the sense of representing all these old school buckets. I totally dig these pumpkins. And for the skeleton kid, now this one is going to be more of a Mexican kid, we'll say. Really fitting in terms of Dia de los Muertos with the whole skeleton attire. I totally dig that as well. He has a really cool mask. I totally like that. The smock with the skeleton parts that go all the way down. You have different tennis shoe color. The backside is all black with the Velcro. Again, much like The Mummy, this one is also a standout. Kind of reminds me of Ghost Rider, too. I'm just going to say that. But again, that is just an overall very cool line of Halloween kids. Yes, it's probably coming out the wrong time of the year, but you got to be ready for Halloween each and every year. And like I said, over and over, I like the material that they did for the costumes, but just go very easy when you initially move them around. Now, as much as I've gone on and on about how awesome these are, they're missing a few things, like some candy. Fortunately, Super Impulse has your minis in minis candy, which we have these milk duds, and it has a box, and it has a little opening right here, and inside, it comes with mini candy bars, mini milk duds, Things that are good for six inch characters, seven inch characters, you can put these candies right into their pumpkin buckets or their trick or treat bags. And I think that that works really well. However, I would have liked to have seen NECA include some candy, something with the kiddos, maybe even some extra hands. That would have been a nice touch. They are really well done, don't get me wrong, but just some extra little oomph in the box really would have been awesome. Now, how do these square up with other action figure lines in your collection? Well, being that their kids are gonna be on the shorter end, they're gonna be around the five, five and a half inch mark, which tends to work well with seven inch lines like Diamond Select, you can kinda get away with it with Marvel Legends, NECA overall, McFarlane overall, because they're in their larger scale. So again, as they are children, they will go fairly well with other action figure lines, much like the Monsters line, which of course, that's where my first inclination went, where, hey, how's that gonna go with the Universal Monsters? And I'm happy to say that they look pretty darn cool. I actually really like that. So that in the sense where you're a proud father and you wanna take your kids out and have them play with other kids, well, just make sure you know who they're playing with. You don't want them falling into the wrong crowd. But I will say this, with the Halloween season of the witch three pack of these masked kiddos, 
they are not exactly the same figures. There is a lot more articulation to these new Ben Cooper kids as opposed to the season of the witch. Of course, they may share some certain parts and pieces here and there, but largely they'll be more articulated than the season of the witch, which is always a good thing, A-OK, -okay, thumbs up. I did try to swap the hands, but unfortunately the Ben Cooper kids don't seem to want to swap hands. But like I said, you can really have some fun on your toy shelves or with photography when the holidays start coming around and you want to celebrate Halloween properly. And incidentally enough, with some recent Marvel Legends, these tend to work with these Halloween Ben Cooper kids, which is ironic, but awesome as well for this video's purpose. In terms of the Ninja Turtles, the kids will actually be a smidge taller than the actual cartoon TMNT, so keep that in mind. But they still tend to go rather well together as teenagers with attitude in terms of other holiday figures, like, we'll say the Fresh Monkey Fiction Naughty or Nice collection. Well, yeah, those look really good together. And see that? I knew those kids were up to no good. And, well, who knows if they're taking Santa back to Jack for good or evil purposes. But, like I said, let's take my black light out and see if you get any reaction from these new figures using said light. And in terms of the devil, yeah, I would say that the mask definitely gives off a very cool glow. Some elements of the smock in certain lights, but I would say, yeah, the mask really does reverberate with that black light. Likewise, with the creature, with that green, with the yellow of the gills, that looks really cool under a black light, especially for Halloween purposes. Then you have the Frankenstein, which the orange of the mask really glows. That's pretty cool. And then down to the smock, you barely get anything, but at least that part. The mummy itself, more so the smock, you'll get a lot more glowage out of him and some of the blood that's all over the mummy. The mask, as you get closer, some of the green enhances. I like that. And then overall, I would say the winner, the cool looking one, very Batman forever, Batman and Robin, you have the gang leader from those movies. <laughs> the smock reacts rather well as well. So if you want to black light these things, go right ahead. So that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new NECA toys, the Halloween masked Ben Cooper kids. This was fun. Thank you so much. And again, thank you to my friends over at NECA Toys for allowing me to do this first video. I had an absolute blast. Halloween, all these spookiness, it's right up my alley. Very cool. And these figures, if you are into this sort of thing for a Halloween display in your action figure collection, I think that you will fare fairly well. I would have liked to have seen maybe a candy or two, some extra hands. That would have really made these pop. So if you bring them back, perhaps for later waves, put some more treats in that old boxes of yours. And like I said, overwhelming response to these Nega toys. You'd be crazy not to go back and make more of these because I think people will really dig them. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Ben Cooper kids. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, these are quite a lot of fun. So be ready this Halloween season with some Ben Cooper action. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.